Matthew 3 verse 11. I baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am. So much greater that I am not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Every believer in Christ must always pray for fresh fire and fresh anointing. When a Christian is on fire, the devil cannot manipulate his life and blessings. A lot of Christians are going from place to place for prayers simply because they like fire. When you carry fire, you become unstoppable, unkillable, and indestructible. One of the greatest weapons for crushing oppression is to be baptized with the fire of the Holy Ghost. The baptism of fire is the symbol of the overwhelming presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. The devil and his agent will carry out all kinds of wicked acts when they find the atmosphere is comfortable. But when you become baptized in the fire of the Holy Ghost, your life will become too hot for the enemy to handle. It is very easy for us Christians to ask God for power, but it is very hard to maintain it. There is no way we can demonstrate the power of God if our spiritual life is cold. Unless we are filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we cannot fight the enemy. The power of God is the fire of the Holy Ghost. The power of God is fresh and unique. If you encounter the power of God like Elijah, you will become a terror to the kingdom of darkness, a true servant and representative of God. Tonight I pray for God to fill us with fresh fire, for our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews 12 verse 28 to 29 says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. A burning coal purified the prophet Isaiah out of his iniquity and sins. Isaiah 6 verse 5 through 7 says, So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongue from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it, and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. The fire that you long to receive is the power that the evil forces are most afraid of and fear. Therefore, once you receive it, you have to continually accumulate it daily, charge it up every day. One of the most powerful weapons used in spiritual warfare is blazing fire. When this gift is granted to a believer, the entire spiritual body is fully engulfed in holy fire with blazing intensity. The fire is so intense that a mere touch of a demonic spirit will incinerate it to ashes. The fire that the Lord grants us can completely devastate the forces of evil. It is more than just fire. The fire is a powerful layer of light that can burn up all kinds of disease on earth, which can heal. Any person who prays diligently and persistently will receive the power of fire. Even though we once confessed and accepted the Lord as our Savior, even though we believe in Him, if we cannot get out from our sinful, habitual lives, then our lives are not completely holy. The only way to save ourselves is to repent. If you repent and shout out, Holy Fire, the evil spirit will have to live and healing will come. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Fire symbolizes the presence of God, the unquenchable fire. When you go through the baptism of fire, God will reschedule your life. When you receive the baptism of fire, three things will happen. Jeremiah 20 verse 9 says, But if I say I will never mention the Lord or speak in His name, His words burns in my heart like a fire. It is like a fire in my bones. I am worn out trying to hold it in. I can't do it. When you receive the baptism of fire, you cannot relax. It is not possible because the fire will not allow you. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 16 tells us, Yet preaching the good news is not something I can boast about. I am compelled by God to do it. How terrible for me if I did not preach the good news. When the baptism of fire is on you, you cannot stop preaching. When the occult or witchcraft people sees you, they will mark you out and avoid you. 
Job 32 verse 19 to 20. Inside I am like bottle of wine, like no wineskins ready to burst. I must speak and find relief. I must open my lips and reply. So when the fire of God is upon you, the power of God will be burning within you. You will wake up in the middle of the night speaking in tongue. God will be talking to you and you will see what God wants you to do. You will not live in darkness or a semi-darkness. Let us pray tonight for the baptism of fire to come upon us. I have come today to fellowship with my Heavenly Father and make my requests and needs known to Him. I cannot be hindered nor delay because I know who I am in the Lord. I am a child of the kingdom, born of the Spirit, redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I work in authority, living life without any apology because of the power and authority has been given to me according to the word of God in the book of Luke 9 verse 1. As I have come to pray today in fellowship with my Heavenly Father, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ and I put on the whole armor of God. I hereby come against every prince of Persia that wants to handle my prayer tonight. I arrest you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ and I bind you and cast you down into the pit of hell. I come against every principalities and powers that wrestle with me in my prayers. I arrest you today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, and I bind you and cast you down into the pit of hell. I come against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I arrest you all by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, and I bind you and cast you down into the pit of hell. I come against every weakness and weariness I arrest you today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, and I bind you and cast you out of my life. I come against every wandering spirit and distractions. I arrest you today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, and I bind you and cast you out of my life. Today I receive the anointing to pray and get results. My prayers cannot be hindered nor delayed because Jesus is my Lord. I will pray today and get the desired result. I decree open heavens upon my prayers. I baptize myself in the fire of the Holy Ghost, therefore I become too hot for the enemy to handle. My prayers today will attract divine intervention to every situation in my life. Signs and wonders will follow my prayers today. Testimony will follow my prayers today. And the name of God alone will be glorified in Jesus' name. O oh God, my Father, thank you for being my God, my Father, and my friend. O oh God, my Father, thank you for the privilege to know you and the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, thank you for always being there for me and with me. My Father, thank you for your great and mighty things that you are doing in my life. O oh God, my Father, thank you for your provision and protection over me and my household. O oh God, my Father, thank you for always answering my prayer. I confess my sins before you today. And I ask you to forgive me on the basis of your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash me clean today, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover myself and my household with the blood of Jesus Christ. My prayers today will not go in vain. My prayers will produce the desired result in the name of Jesus. Today, O Lord, baptize me in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything in my life that will hinder me from receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Father, Lord, let it be destroyed today by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive fresh fire of the Holy Spirit today. I will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit destroy the works of flesh manifesting in my life in the name of Jesus. O oh God, my Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit consume all sinful desires in my heart and give me a new heart in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit purify my life so that I may live a holy life in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit destroy the lust of the eyes manifesting in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit destroy the lust of the flesh manifesting in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit destroy the pride of my life manifesting in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the power of the Holy Ghost be released upon me today as promised in your word in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, let the fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, 
Let the anointing to function as a child of the kingdom be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let the anointing to heal the sick be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let the anointing to cast out devil be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let the anointing to bind and loose be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let the anointing to destroy the works of the devil be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let the anointing for signs and wonder be released upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I shall experience the power of the Holy Spirit like on the day of Pentecost in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let the mighty wind of the Holy Spirit encamp around me in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, fill me with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, let your Holy Spirit give me a new revelation today in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, Fill me with the Holy Spirit and let my fear go away forever in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit to confront and overcome my fears in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit to do great exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit to succeed in the ministry in which you have called me in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, Empower me with the Holy Spirit to lead the unsaved to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit to fulfill my purpose as the light of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit to fulfill my purpose as the salt of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit so that I may do your will alone in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, empower me with the Holy Spirit to overcome my weaknesses in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, baptize me in your fire in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, baptize me in your power in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, baptize me in Shekinah glory tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. O God, my Father, baptize me in your presence in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, my Father, give me the grace to experience your presence today and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the Lord, my heart will be filled with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the Lord, I will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the Lord, I will receive my miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence today, O oh Lord, there will be transformation in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the Lord, I receive fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the O Lord, my mind will be renewed in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the O Lord, my situation must change for the better in the name of Jesus Christ. As I enter into your presence to the O Lord, I must have every reason to testify to your goodness and mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. To God be all the glory tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.